Hello, thank you for watching this video where we're going to look at how Connection Center can connect SCOM to Sharewell in three minutes. First, a really brief overview of Connection Center. So Connection Center will help you connect SCOM to a number of different places um, to let you both push and pull alerts um, and object data and set things like maintenance mode. And really it's limitless because of webhooks you can connect to pretty much anything. Um, so let's see what we have to show you for Sharewell. So here we're inside the SCOM console, we've imported our management pack, the Connection Center management pack, and you can see here the UI in the administration pane. Um, so the first thing we did here is we set up an outbound connection to Sharewell to push alerts out to Sharewell. We've also got an inbound connection set up that will pull updates on incidents raised. If I go into its properties here, you'll see we've provided details of, of where the Sharewell instance is. Um, we can configure a proxy. We've got our client ID and run as profile with run as account in here. On the next screen, we've got the properties of the incidents that we'll be um, creating saved. They can be used when incidents are raised. And then the criteria, which is SCOM's standard subscription criteria wizard that you'll be very familiar with for picking which alerts are sent out in the first place. All this configuration is stored in a management pack inside of SCOM and you see the summary of this on the summary screen. You can see that the connection, if I close this wizard, is in the healthy state. We monitor this connection with SCOM with the monitor. For inbound, uh, which is for receiving updates and information on uh, incidents raised, you can see um, the connection is very similar. Uh, there are a few configuration options here for allowing closing of alerts and resetting monitors um, and how frequently we pull for updates and that the connection is in a healthy state here. Um, if I go to Sharewell now, this is an example of an incident raised from SCOM alerts. So you get an idea for what they look like. We've used the uh, description and short description from the SCOM alerts and we've filled in all of the fields with what you set up in SCOM. If I go now to the monitoring pane to active alerts, what we'll see here is an example of some of the um, incidents that are, are raised in, uh, in Sharewell, along with some information um, from bidirectional sync that has been pulled back through. So we've got here, for example, the uh, state of the incident, the CI ID, um, the assignment group, uh, also the owner will get filled in with who the incident is assigned to. If you like what you've seen, go to cookdown.com forward slash connection center where you can take a trial and book a demo and ask us any question you like about connection center and share well. Thank you for watching this video.